go to urban planning for 10 years. I worked for several cities, um, the city of Cardina, Inglewood, Pasadena as a planning commissioner, and also the city of Compton as a redevelopment project manager. So I dedicated about a decade to serving communities. I've lived in the city of Compton for four years. Um, I'm a third generation resident. My mother and my grandmother, they moved to Compton. Actually, my grandmother moved to Compton in the 1950s. And my mother and my aunt, they were all raised in the city of Compton. And my mother actually moved our family out of Compton when her mother uh, was murdered um, in her home. And so my mother raised our family in Pasadena. And after my husband and I got rooted and grounded, um, we were looking for a place to buy our first home. and so we came back to my home, which is the city of Compton, and, and set up shop. My primary reason is that I believe that Compton is a beautiful city. I believe that it's neglected, but I still think it has a huge opportunity to be a world-class city. And so as an urban planner, I always look for challenges, and I look for um, opportunities to serve communities that can really get better and to improve the lives of residents. And as a resident of the city of Compton, and having worked in the city of Compton as an employee, I really saw, you know, firsthand the issues that were going on systematically in the city. And a lot of them, um, a lot of issues that we have in the city is not because we don't have the funds or the finances or the ability, but we just really need to have a new system in place. Um, all of our systems are 30 years old, our general plan is 30 years old. That's the policy document that really guides the community forward. Um, we don't have a zoning ordinance, which is, which is the legal um, tool that cities can use to move the community forward. We don't have things like a capital improvement plan, which really is your public works blueprint for how you improve your city. So when we look at the city of Compton, you know, the people that live here, we love our city. We have a lot of pride about our community, but the infrastructure, our streets, our roads, the cleanliness, um, the crime, you know, the graffiti, the lack of food options, healthy food options, and the lack of entertainment options. We're just, we really are living in a vacuum. And I say that in, in respect to the communities that surround us. The city of Compton is one of the oldest communities and largest metropolitan areas in Los Angeles County, but yet when we look at the city of Carson, Gardena, Paramount, they've been able to do some things that Compton hasn't been able to do, like keep the city maintained and clean. And so the city of Compton is a, really a jewel of LA County. We have a huge industrial base. We have, um, we're the hub city because everything comes through Compton. We have 50% of the, the world's trades in terms of the ports that come through Los Angeles County, they go straight through Compton. We have rail lines, we have our own airport, golf course, we have our own water system. So when we look at all of these things that we have that other cities don't have, the big issue is what's going on with the money. And the simple answer is that we've mismanaged and we missed a lot of opportunities. We have failed leadership and an unstable government. So I'm running to really put some stability back in city government Make sure that City Hall is transparent and inclusive of all people. I believe that I will be one of the first mayors to really focus on policies. Um, we've had some mayors, um, you know, do some good programs, but we really need to look at the policies in the city of Compton. When we look at, um, just I, I mentioned before, our general plan, our zoning ordinance, capital improvement plan, things that you know are non-existent or very antiquated, they prohibit investment from coming into the city of Compton. And so they also prohibit the city of Compton from keeping funding in the city that we receive from sources like the state um, regionally and also from the federal government. Um, we've given back millions of dollars in grant funds because we don't have basic policy instruments in place. And so in order for the city of Compton to be ready to grow and to expect and to expand and to be sustainable and healthy and thriving, we have to do these house clean keeping things which you know don't really sound um, exciting but they're really very 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 necessary. And so I believe that I will be able to get to the issues, get some policies in place, really promote economic development, which is critical. It's not just a buzz phrase, it's actually a system to expand and to create job opportunities with the systems that we have in place. And it all starts with relationship and also image and perception. And so I think that I will be able to alter and to really improve the image of the city of Compton. We all know as residents here that we've had a history of corrupt politicians and officials that have um, you know, come in and out of the city of Compton. And so I think that I will definitely bring a breath of fresh air 
transparency, and really symbolize hope and, um, and forward movement in the city of Compton. Um, my family, they're, they're excited. Um, they probably saw that I would do um, this probably long before I ever did. Um, I've always wanted to work behind the scenes and, you know, work with people and do like the planning and the, the groundwork. I've always been a practitioner, but um, they also see leadership qualities in me as well. So they're very excited. Um, my mother, she was apprehensive at first just because of her own personal tragedy, losing her mother. Um, to violence in the city of Compton, and so, and it was the same thing when my husband and I decided to move back here. She was apprehensive, but um, she's very excited. And of course, as a mother, she's still concerned because you know just different things that have gone on in the election. But um, they're very excited about um, what's to come. Um, I've learned a lot. I think um, I knew that I was tough, but I, I'm definitely certain of that now. Um, you know, with different things that have been um, done or that have gone on in the campaign that um, aren't necessarily um, representative of the people of Compton. I think that we are, for the most part, honest and hardworking people. And so when I see um, people lie and, you know, slander and, you know, make up things or say things like, you know, I just moved to Compton to run for office or I don't really live here or, and, you know, and I just think that that's ridiculous because, you know, out of a lot of the people that ran for mayor, my husband and I are, own our own home, you know, I don't live with anyone else, I pay my property taxes, we pay our water bills, we pay, you know, our, our HOA dues, you know, we actually live in the heart of the city. And so I think when, it's a breath of fresh air when I meet different residents and they say, wow, I've never actually um, met someone that's running for mayor. And I think that's representative of the fact that a lot of people really don't live here. So I'm, I'm excited about just the change. My first order of business will be to implement a strategic plan, um, and that's really a process that involves the entire community, and it lays out for the next 10 years what will the city of Compton focus its resources on, and it ties that to the budget. Now, of course, when I get elected and you know I get sworn in, the budget is already passed for that next year, so I won't be able to have a big influence on the budget that's already passed. And so that's why I would really like to focus on this policy instrument so that we'll be ready to hit the ground running on that next year and be able to expend resources toward policies and programs that move the community forward and that are based off of the objectives and the desires of the people. And so um, I mentioned before, making sure that the general plan update happens so that we can be eligible to receive grant funding and to be able to receive and utilize tax credits. Um, I would just like to speak to whoever has seen the video. Um, I would just like to tell them that, you know, the video is not representative of the people of Compton as a whole. You know, we're honest people, we're hardworking people. Um, we care about our city and we don't promote or support any type of corruption in any way. And so, you know, in terms of if there's any insinuation of the city, you know, just giving people contracts of a, a high amount or exorbitant amount, um, it's not representative of the people because when I look at the unemployment rate in the city of Compton, we have one of the highest unemployment rates in the state of California. And when I look at it in terms of, you know, just the, the job loss and the job um, reduction that we've had in the city of Compton, you know, of course we don't support giving people contracts that, you know, are not measurable or commiserate with the actual um, utility of that job. Because when I look at, you know, I'm just being honest, when I look at a $20,000 a year um, a month contract, I think of a whole program. You know, something that can incorporate, you know, interns and really that can be educational, informative, and then also produce a quality product. And so um, I think that there's opportunities for efficiency. And I think that that video really shined a light on just some of the issues that have gone on in City Hall and that we really need to take a look at in order to move forward. Compton School District um, has really made a lot of growth in terms of being progressive, but I think that we all have to be objective and, um, you know, there's always room for improvement for everybody. And so I think that if we can um, continue to make policies and programs that include all people, um, that provide um, transparency and information and really meet people where they are, um, I think that that would be great. But I, I understand that the Compton Unified School District, their elementary schools are high performing. They have high API scores. So I'm really proud of that. And um, They've opened up a new um, health center and a health um, clinic on their campuses at Dominguez High School. So um, that was in partnership with Los Angeles County. So 
I think that that's great. I definitely think that CUSD is moving in a great direction, and I really look forward to partnering with them at the city level so that we can improve and um, maximize what we're doing here for our families and the children of the city of Compton. I think that the Compton Sheriff's Department has done a tremendous job in um, reducing crime in the city of Compton. I do know that I hear um, residents say that sometimes the sheriffs, they um, are not as friendly as they would like. And I think that anytime there's an issue in any relationship, there's just a lack of communication. And I think that as a city um, official and as a mayor, I definitely can be the leader in terms of making sure that the city um, collaborates with the Sheriff's Department in a new way. We have the opportunity to do community policing, for doing events that really touch the community and really transform our law enforcement to having a relationship, you know, into the community. And I think that the Sheriff's, they have done a tremendous job in making sure that they um, touch the community with community relations and making sure that they, you know, touch families and kids. And, and so I think it can only be expanded in a huge way by partnering with the city and making sure that we have open communication and really um, can plan some things to move forward to really improve what they've already done because they have done a tremendous job in the city of Compton and I don't believe that my family would be here today if the sheriffs had not come back into or hadn't come into the city of Compton. So I'm grateful for what they've done. I look forward to improving that in the future. Most definitely. You know, when I look at gangs and when I look at um, crime in general, especially dealing with our young people and our young men, um, it's just a lack, I look at neglect. You know, when a city does not invest in its young people, then they're going to give way to doing things that they should not be doing, you know, because of lack of opportunity, boredom, or just going along with, you know, peer pressure or just, you know, the pressures of their area. Um, I look forward to actually investing in our youth um, I'm really big on youth development. My husband and I, we mentor kids um, on a regular basis. We're um, youth directors at our church. So we really feel that it's important to reach kids before they get involved in gangs, to give them options, to make sure that they understand who they are, what they can do. Um, a lot of our kids, you know, they're involved in different things, and it's not because they aren't smart. It's because, you know, they don't have, they feel like they don't have any options. And so I look forward to making sure that we invest in our young people. I look forward to building a youth center for our kids in the city of Compton. Um, just personally, we've partnered um, with organizations to make sure that we can increase the capacity of services that are offered to our kids. We have so many great people that have come from the city of Compton that really want to invest in our kids. And so we have huge opportunities to make sure that, you know, if they want to be in music or arts or, um, you know, computer science or whatever it is that they choose to do, and it's our job as adults and as mentors and as leaders to make sure that they get the exposure to those different avenues so that they can have something to shoot for. Hello, great people of Compton. My name is Asia Brown, and I'm running to be your next mayor. I look forward to serving you and to providing opportunities for our residents and for our families and for our communities and for our churches to really come together and to move forward as in unity as one city. And so I look forward to serving. I look forward to bringing in new resources and new ideas and new programs and really making sure that we can come together and move our city forward. It's an honor to serve.